Tree Styler video, uncovering Australia's private bonsai collections. This one belongs to Ryan P. Now in the video, we talk about Matt's trees and another Ryan. Now these are featured on my channel in the playlist for private bonsai collections. Let's go. Okay, I'm here with Ryan, the owner of this collection, the private collection. All right, Ryan, come in here, mate, nice and close. Oh, I've got this, purchased this um, off Matt. You've seen his last collection in one of Paul's episodes. It's a Coast Banks here. My partner brought it for me for a present. Pretty much all I've been doing is pretty much finished tree. I've just been uh, refining it, cutting it back, moving a few branches with guide wires and repotted it into this, into this pot here. It's um, a really nice pot, man. I'm just yeah. trying to get that on the camera. Um, Beautiful. Just took off some of the old organic soil and put it all in inorganic now. Mm -hmm. um, this tree just grows like no tomorrow. So it's Australian native. Australian native, yep. Um, old Co man, uh, Coast uh, Banks. Coast Banks here, yeah. Coast Banks here. Yeah, she's only just had her hair cut not long ago. Look at the movement of that trunk coming down through there. So if you look in the private collection series, there's a series by Matt, and some of the trees have come from his collection through to Ryan. Yep. Now this one. This black pine was from the man himself, Paulie. So yeah, just a bit of history about this one. It's a Japanese black pine that I purchased a few years ago. And it was uh, a little bit, well, a lot bigger than what it currently is now. I sold it to Ryan and Ryan's taken it to the next level. With the help with Maddie, Maddie done most of, he done all the wiring for it and I had his guidance. I haven't, not an expert on black pines, but maddie has got a lot of experience. So he gave me a hand with it. He's done a top job. I yeah. um, actually bare-rooted this tree, put it in inorganic. In I know a lot of people frown upon that, but it seemed to be growing pretty good now in that. So that pot's a 300 millimetre, is it? Yeah, roughly? yeah. I got that from Ryan Over the Mountain, which has been on one of the other episodes as well. Private collection, Ryan's yep. trees. Different Ryan. You're Ryan... Yep. He's Ryan M, you're I'm, Ryan I'm P. I'm Ryan, Ryan Coast. He's Ryan West. <laughs> He's a Westie. <laughs> Yeah, so you did a lot of work with Matt on this, redesigning the tree. Yeah. I, I'll put up some footage of this tree when I had it. So I initially purchased it and needed to be brought back to some health. And then I sold it to Ryan because it was taking up too much bench, bench space for me. Um, and I knew Ryan would enjoy taking it to the next level. Okay. Okay, this is a little olive that I got off um, Lee. I uh, can't remember Lee's last name. She's an elderly lady up at Ingadine. Um, it was going pretty good, but now it's starting to suffer from a bit of dieback, as you see here. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the olive. Hey, it's us they're usually pumping this time of year, and I was actually talking to Matt again, and Matt's olives slowed up too. So, yeah, it's a tiny little buds in yeah. there coming out. But overall, I have some olives and they're, they're absolutely pumping. Whereas yeah. we talked about this one, didn't we? And it was just, yeah, it just struggling. seems to be struggling. I did have it in the pot. So I've sort of put it back in this and slip potted it into this drainage pot, the sieve, and hopefully it gets some oxygen into the roots and gets its health back. But we'll see. Hopefully these can replace this if it dies back. And Yeah. Lots of little bud spud on the trunk yeah. that uh, even down low here it's means no, it's still no, going. No, there's no one even little tree. there's one down there as well. Yeah. Quick little there's spin around. Feet in it. Quick little spin, yeah. Lots of little buds I can see. Yeah. So I love them lot. Love the ugly trees, mate. <laughs> the character. Yeah. Okay. A couple of trees over this way. First we'll go the front one here. So this one was from Bonsai South. I brought this is my second tree ever I brought. I brought it when I was 15 years old and I've been doing bonsai now for eight years. Yeah, pretty much I had to redo the whole top of the canopy. It was pretty straight and I've just slowly been wiring branches down and just having fun. Just enjoying it. No real guide. No, just each year when it needs a prune or rewire it, I'll move branches around and just have no real plan. Just go for it. Nice. Now, you mentioned eight years you've been doing bonsai. Yep. I reckon not long after that is when we met. It was, mate, yeah. <laughs> and I'd come to you for some... Soil? Some guidance and some soil. Yeah. Because um, I was using potting mix. That's how, that's, how, um, that's how new I was to it. Next, we have another Australian native. Tell this, us this one, mate. This is an old man, Banksia. Um, I've always had a little soft spot for him from 
the gum nut babies as a kid growing up with the books. Um, I just love how gnarly the tree is and the, the bark. bark and the bark, mate. Mate, it just that's an Australian tree all over. I mean, uh, yeah, so the bark on these is amazing. Yeah. Chunky, gnarly, aged. I've had plenty of different species of trees, but living where I live here, it gets, mate, it can get to the 40s and yeah. our maples obviously don't like it that much and there's things that seem to survive are these natives man they love it these can handle any temperature any heat yep. full sun poor soils yep mindful right. of the fertilizer for them yep speaking of soils tell us more about the mix that you're using so, now pretty much the same as all the boys around here um we've got zeolite pomace black scoria and fired clay round fired clay balls um gives max drainage it's um Stops them bloody curl grubs and yes. poorly put on his short the other day. Curl grubs. Um, I get all my mix from Scotty at Dr. Green Thumbs. All my fertilizers, everything. He's the man for that stuff, eh? Um, yeah, Dr. Dr. Green Thumbs, local, yep. local guy. He's got some good liquid feed. He's got good slow release. He's got all, all the ingredients for your mixes. I'll put a link up, actually, for yeah, Dr. Green Thumbs. Yeah, put a link up. He's a legend. Okay, next, this yeah. monster. Yep, this monster. Let's have a closer look here. I really like this tree, man. You like that one? Yeah, dude. It's just yeah. a nice, solid, old, gnarly tree. Yeah, she's gnarly, mate. Growing on the rock. So this this tree was uh, um, a bloke that Matt put me onto again. His name was Steve. Um, he had a lot of different trees, and then Matt purchased it. And then um, I purchased it off Matt. And um, Matt's done all the work. Was, he done everything for it. Pot, so, custom made. Yeah, custom made for the tree. I think Marumbum. Yeah, or similar. Marumbum. Sure that's it is. the one. I'm the shocking with pots. I just know <laughs> I like the Australian potters and I like the custom ones. And it's on rock. Yep. What's the age of this one? Do you know? I'm not sure, mate. For the age. Old. Gen old. Gen Janet Shelby made me the little indigenous figures here. The go, oh, okay. They go with the Australian collection, mate. Cool. Give a bit They're of new. Some, I haven't seen these yeah, here. Let's have a closer look at those. Little. Yeah, got the dingo and that in there. Bit of, oh, up there. Bit, the, bit of indigenous culture so going there. Yeah. Colour. The moss is just yeah. popping out everywhere. Yep. And today it's it's overcast today. Perfect humidity, and the leaf size is really good, man. Really yep. small. Really yeah, small. I love that tree. I uh, love my figs. Defoliate it all the time. I don't defoliate it. I usually just cut it back to the first first set of leaves the okay. first nodes um i will do a defoal if it needs to be like maybe once i know the tree's strong and healthy yeah i don't do it every year but yeah okay yeah some, cutting it cutting it back to the, the yeah. first leaves from the trunk they're yep. always they're generally always smaller yeah especially like with a tree this size the branches i don't feel are too long for the tree yeah you can sort of just keep cutting it back to the first nodes oh man okay next this little this little tree it's growing. Little Malaluca, it's a um, spiky bark, Malaluca pa or paper bark is. Paper bark? People might want to, they might know the common name. Um, I got this one from um, Lee as well, the one I got the olive from. In Sydney? Yep. Yep. And um, this is one of my, this is my first paper bark and I've always had an idea of the native trees not liking their roots being messed around, but yep. this thing has been bare rooted it's, it's in inorganic soil again and it grows like a machine it does yeah you're pruning it all the time we had the original face when i had the tree was the, the back side here trying to spin it around for me yep so this was the original face when uh, i first yeah. got it yeah um but then once again go to maddie maddie um put another set of eyes on it and we've come up with this side Ah, so uh, I see why. Yeah. I see why here. Yep. This movement comes movement. forward there and then the overall That's shape. Right. The canopy moving it's up. Pretty natural. Yeah, it has the leaves on it. Tiny. Yeah. So for overseas watchers, a lot of our natives have these tiny leaves. And that's natural size. Puts the um, proportions into the tree and I think it looks amazing. I'll just go over the top of that one. So Melaleuca. Paper bark. Paper Spiky bark. leaf. Spiky leaf paper bark. I want one. Moving over here, another native. This is another one off Maddie. This is a flaky bark tea tree. I never even heard of him until Maddie showed me, and 
my constant hounding got me to purchase this one off him. He kept the other. Um, once again, he's done all the work, all the gin, everything. I just maintain it and enjoy it. And the feature of this tree, well, the leaf size, let's have a look yeah. at that for one. But look at this bark. It's amazing. It's so soft. It's soft. Different, it's different to the paper bark again. Yeah, it's that, so. It's that flaky. The previous tree was a paper bark, but this is just so delicate. Mm. It just, there we go there. I think you can actually take the bark off. You know what they do with the junipers where they strip the bark yep. off and you get an orange colour? Ah, okay. Trunk. I think you can do it with that. But Mind I, if I do a little test up the top? Yeah, if you like. Just, just I don't the, know how thick it is, but... Just, okay, so if you peel it away, just that colour underneath. Yeah. So it goes from a greyish to red, yeah. orange. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let, very, it'll do it naturally itself yeah, too. That's right. Like that's all going natural itself down here. Yeah. Very nice. You got. Is that coming from the yeah, base well, of the tree? I'll show you down there further. I actually got some self-seeded. Yes. Little suckers that will grow in there. I think these might be suckers, and I just wire them for fun, mate. That. Yes. Yeah. No, that's good, man. That's yeah, natural. That's what happens that's, in nature. Yeah, exactly. exactly what's happening. So, Lovely, mate. Love the flakies. I haven't yeah. got one myself. Yeah. All right, run us through over here. Okay, so this is another one off Maddie, and I think he got this one off you, Grant. Yep. Um, it's a small leaf gum. That's its oh, a common name. Those leaves. Oh, sorry, this, go back to Hugh Grant. Yeah. Who's, who's he? He's a probably one of the best in Australia, I reckon. Bonsai artist? Yep, from up Blue Mountains. He's on the Insta, all that. Hugh Grant. Yep. Tree makers, isn't it? Tree makers. Yeah, tree makers. Tree makers, yeah. yeah. I'm the tree styler. That's right, I get used to confusing the time. <laughs> he's, mate, he's way better than me, let me tell you. He's, I've seen I've seen his work. Unreal. No, always, nice. I love the gums. All the native trees, mate, I've got a soft spot for them, mate. Yeah, mate, those leaves are amazing. Small. Some of our can't natives. Get, can't get any more Aussie, eh? Uh, yeah, look, I'm trying to highlight the native trees in Australia to the viewers all around the world. Yeah. And just... Some of the trees you'll never have heard of or seen. And yeah. So yeah, this some is a really good collection. Some of my, some of the trees, the native that are in Bonzo, I've never even heard of them. Like, I just hear of them and. Hey, that's yeah. Blows you away. Awesome. Custom made pot. Yeah, Janet Shelby made that. Cool. She made a couple of more pots. All right, little one up the back here. Yeah. So this one, this was my very first one. This is the one that got me in the Bonzo. Very this first tree. Eight years old. And where'd you get that from? Bunnings. Bunnings. Oh, Bunnings. There you go. Places, People out mate. there. Bunnings. This is the result of a Bunnings tree yeah. purchased and taken the right way. This thing is... Um, Just down a bit, mate. Yeah, that's it. He's been bloody... Had root <laughs> rot. It's had everything go wrong with this tree and it keeps bouncing back. No, that is a nice little fatty. This is the one when you got me into the inorganic. <laughs> it was in potting mix originally. Oh, yes. That's how novice I was. Definitely not a Bunnings pot. No, either. it's not a Bunnings pot. Definitely I not I don't a know Bunnings where pot. Maddie got that from, but That's Maddie beautiful. got it from somewhere. The colours and shape. It's in perfect day. Eh? It does. Really like that, man. So I got that when my eldest daughter was born. Sentimental tree. That's right. Unreal. Okay, let's have a look at this little yeah, drum this, drum pot. Yeah, so this one, I don't. I collected this... Where, where I work, I come across little suckers and seedlings all the time in different on different jobs that are going to cause dramas, and I just pull them out. Um, I don't know if this is a bottle brush or a little Malaluka. I, I was had the assuming that it was a bottle brush. I thought I thought right. it looks like a bottle brush, but yeah. the leaves are very. That's right. They're just a bit larger than normal. But some of the Malalukas that I've found have a similar oval kind of shaped um leaf but it shoots a white flower this one flowers it's the only one in my collection that will flower so ah, far and okay it, yeah it gets an, the only other tree i thought it could be is a wa bottle brush okay yeah they get a white flower then the bark too yeah, the bark, yeah so this tree started this i developed this whole side yeah this was just a stick and it had a few little leaves and i just took it home for fun like I you'll did. see I yeah, do remember you bringing that. this and it was there was nothing nothing on it nothing on it and then when did yeah. you roughly when did you collect it <laughs> about four years ago yeah three years ago or something always been Probably in four years always been in small pots too yeah this it's one. always been in a bonsai pot cool never a training pot at all and the front on this one is somewhere yeah, probably about there it's roughly once again this is one of them trees i just sort of bend and twist each year goes by I excellent do something different with it experimenting but um that nice. pot was from matt too and 
don't know where he got that from. Probably should mention your bench. Probably yeah. should mention your bench, yeah. mate. It's outstanding. Yeah, it's a solid piece of gear. You know, I got this all this timber from a fellow Jack at Coromel. He's a he's a mate of mine. Just have a just have a just have a quick scan through. Yeah. I did it on the intro, but um, how long are these pieces? Yeah, three? I think they're all three and a half. Three and a half, and you yeah. built this all yourself? Yeah, yep. a mate helped me because the slabs were so heavy. Yes, big. Um, yeah. Dug them, dug them posts there, the posts underneath are 50 years old off the farm. So there's, what's that, 60? Re yeah, 60 S mil. 60 mil, roughly? Yep. Red gum. Red gum, beautiful. Yeah. Lovely you bench. All, you can see all the bugs and they've chewed it out. Yeah. Rusty can... Sorry, we've diverted away from the bonsai, yeah. but I just wanted to highlight that. Yeah. <laughs> Holds the heat too, Paul, yeah. though. You put your hand on there, you feel it. Yeah. When it gets hot, mate, it gets hot. Wow. All right, back to the trees. Yep. So this thing's a... Well, I just try to collect anything that's weird. This is... Um, I've had Say, this. Hang on. Weird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> weird shit. That's, that's, that sounds familiar, man. Yeah. Uh, that's about me. Yeah, so Paulie, this was... I probably got this when we first met, mate. Yeah. It's old. It's, sounds romantic. Yeah, it does, eh? <laughs> and it's from South Africa. It's a yep. succulent. Yeah. And I think they call it a... Fuckier end this. Sorry, sorry for this. It sounds like I'm swearing, but it, it's fukia or a fuckier? Fuckier. Fuckier. Let's look it up. Yeah. It's a better E A, I think, at the end of it. A fuck your tree. F O C K E A, I think that's how it's spelled. Oh, okay. Sweet. What a weird little it's creature. Weird man, hey. Little but they get the size of a basketball. Wow. Yeah. Just big and round and gnarly. <laughs> yeah, so something different. Hey, mate, you've got to have the interesting different trees. And you don't have to touch it, it just sits there like ornamental sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Um, all and right. this one's sim a similar thing. It's weird? Yeah, another weird thing. It gets all robust. Yeah. It's a big ball sack. Is that, is that it? Is that part of it? <laughs> yeah, it's a part of it, man, eh? So it's come yeah. from here and then... Yeah, and there's more under the ground. It push slowly pushes itself out of the pot. What do you reckon that looks like? Big sack, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> a roo set. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, nah, I like it. I yeah, like it that you're doing different interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, just something. <laughs> Kill time, mate. Ooh, okay. What do we got? Here's another old man. And I've got it from Ryan up in the mountain. The Westy Ryan. Yep. Um, yeah, he let this go for me. Mate, the, um, I just love the base on it, man. It's, it's solid. Put your, put your hands around that. It's solid, man. Yeah. It's even got a little face, eh? Like you yeah. can see his mouth and he's got the two evil mm. eyes. It's hard to see with an mm. open grain. <laughs> Oh yeah, half nose, not oh, eyes, yeah. all he's natural. Starting to come. He doesn't like being in a pot. Old cranky, <laughs> yeah. old cranky tree. Yeah, he's pissed. The base, mate. Yeah, no, no I've watched this one grow. You've sent me photos. Yeah, yeah straight. Like, so it's, yeah, so I just let him grow out and thicken up a bit. Yep. And, yes, yeah. it's always been a healthy tree. I got it off right in great shape. And yep. Yeah, I actually took it out. Janet made that pot for me too for that tree. I'll put a link up for yeah, she's, Janet. She's. She's really good, eh? Janet's uh, ceramics. Good prices and nice lady. Yeah, I met her up at um, Sutherland. Yeah, at yeah, that's where she's, she's from up there. The show, um, which is on my channel as well. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man, that's nice. Okay, do you want to drag that one across, mate? Yep. It's the jade, is it? Yep, this will be... Mark Douglas will love this. Mark Douglas, see you go, Dago. mate. Oh, he like, his <laughs> he's, he's another guy that we know. He loves his jades. Yeah. Look at so, that pot. Look at that. Yeah, that was off Maddie too. That's what, four centimetres? Five? Yeah, five centimetres. shallow, something. So you're obviously training this one. Yeah, like this one's You chopped yeah. it off. This was actually, my mate had a property up at Stillman Park and I was just sitting there and he just gave it to me for my birthday a few years ago and it's just a bit Come sentimental on. and I just yep. keep wiring things up and mucking around with it. And yeah, it's just gnarly, mate. It was in poor <laughs> health. It was um, yeah. like it was not anything special. I actually de-leafed it and yep. it's come back unreal. Do you want to spin it around for me? Yeah, mate. Just to have a look at the back? Yeah, it, it's, I like the other side, but it's good to have yeah. a look at the back. That be, Them bends in the trunk would just, that's how it grew in the garden, eh? All right. Yeah. These like, here? Was, yeah, yeah, these here and, and the start of that, and then I just yeah. started like, really, really cranking kidding. it down a bit. Yep. Uh, another, let's have a look here. Yeah, so it's another little maluka. On a so rock, see, root, see, root over rock. Yeah, see the leaf, how similar it is yep. to the one we looked at previously. Yeah, this is more in line with the leaf size of a Malaluca that yeah. I think it's just a bit bigger. Yeah, sorry. Different colour too. It's just a bit bigger down there. Yeah, anyway. that's right, yeah. Developing a root over rock. Yep. 
Um, Attached pretty quick too, it, this guy. Yeah, looks like it. Um, looks like it. Is that like a cutting you put there? No, nah, so when See? when I'd done the root work to cut it and place it on the rock, I cut it square like that. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's going to stay on there yet, but this yep. guy's... This guy had the, I just cut the base off and they just wrapped around perfect. It's fit in that rock nice. Where'd you get the rock? That's not, that's not so, around here. No, I got it from a fella, a bloke I used to work with. His dad was actually the chairman of the bonds, the local bonsai club here. Okay. And um, when Al got our bonsais, he had all these rocks and pots and yep. he gave me a heap of the rocks and I kept them. And this has been, I've had this rock sitting there for, Six years maybe in the garage. Yep. I'd place it around trees. <laughs> it just was not fitting with any trees. And then yep. I found these little male lucas while I was working one day and collected placed them on the rock. Yeah, collected them. I just like doing, getting little small trees and watching them grow, man. All right, here we go. Something interesting. Now, this is from a local rock. This is from this our is area. Local rock. Sandstone. Tell beach us about rock. it. So, this is a beach rock. I was surfing one day, you found it, um, took it to work, carved her out. You, it was already had a bit of a dish in it, then I carved it out a bit more with the grinder. Yep. Um, put drainage holes in it. I've had different trees in it. Yes. It looks like that's just sparse, not yeah. much in there. Yep. Um, so, what have we got? This, this, is, this is that. Do you want me to swear on the video uh, again? It's the same as that <laughs> the one. Same as the other one. The, the same little tongue twister. The, oh, sorry. The, yeah. the one starting with F. Yeah. Yeah, sandstone. So, There's so much of this rock around yeah. this area. Sandstone cliffs, sandstone slabs, beach areas. Um, you can see where it's very been hitting the rocks. The waves have been hitting it, all these yes. little indentations and stuff. Salt water just ripping yeah. into it. Now, this one. I was admiring this one off camera because I've seen photos of it. And seeing it in person just makes it pop. The dead wood, the bark. Have a look at this bark. Tell us, tell us more about it, mate. So it's a bottle brush. Um... I only got this probably a month ago. Australian native. Australian again. native. Yeah, they usually they go leaf size. Yeah, it's slowly getting its buds now. And that's the, the remains flowers. of the flowers, the yeah. seed pods. He showed me photos of it flowering. It looks unreal. The condition it was in was not the greatest. It was still alive, mate. I bare rooted it, got all the organic off it. Yep. There was little dry patches in the soil. Put in this real free drain mix, oversized pot. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Pruned the roots back just a bit. Yeah, and now it's just sitting in here, so, and the buds are starting to swell now. So carved all the wood. Yep. You, did the, you you carve? Yeah. You so carved it was rough, and then I just done all the detailed stuff. Yeah, the detail on the inside. I can spin it for you if you want. Yep. Do that. Tree spun around now, and all this beautiful, and spin it again. So you could go this side as well. Yeah. Yeah. It really, but the other side I think looks slightly better. Yeah. Just highlights the dead wood under here, out that way. But yeah, looking healthy, man. That's it. I'll um, put a bit of wire on it once the roots start. Once she gets a bit more healthy, now I'll wire her up, lower mm. a few of these branches, and get a good look at the mix. Yeah, there, free draining. Free draining. Any organic in there? None. The only tree that it could have a bit of organic in it could be the flaky bark because I haven't seen under it. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah. Just go back here. Um, possibly. I'm just not sure. Possibly could. To everything That's, else. Yeah. That's full, you know, yeah, all of it. Sorry, inorganic. Yep. I mean, I need to get that right. But that means more watering. How, how many times are you watering? Depending on the day. If we've got rain coming, I'd like to water in the morning. Um, but I'll usually give it a drink in the Arvo too on these warmer days. But you can tell you love your trees, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, a couple little ones here we'll come across. Little. Yeah, that's a little flaky bark. That's ah. that one I told you it's self-seeded. Yep. Um, I just wired that up. Just just for fun and little coast banks here, coast banks here. my partner brought home from her work and Cascade. i've done that done that for my new son yep um and yeah. finally in the corner last tree in the collection this is newly collected yeah how long yeah. ago did you collect this one? Oh god this would have been maybe three months yeah three reckon? months and it's a it's a paper bark yeah, Mali, yeah. have a look at this bark i'll it's try and get it gnarly, soft and soft so the budding, tree, budding. Yeah. This, there was nothing oh, on this. Nothing, mate. Nothing. I'll have so, to get a photo from you. Yeah, so this branch was like up here somewhere. I cut it. Yeah. This had a few, like these harder branches here, and obviously this. So and this is going to, just for people, this is this is just growing out for health. Yeah. It's going to get gin, gonna, yeah, ginned or yeah. removed, whatever looks yeah. better. Um, but at the moment, it's just retained. So the tree was like, huge, yeah. went up that way. And the mother tree of this tree was 
massive. And it's butting back into that old bark. Yeah. And so Ryan was telling me he's wired this out. And here's an example here. That's how far the tree's grown in, how long? Oh God, maybe three. That part Three there. weeks, if three. that. So a few weeks and it's already yeah. grown out. If I can capture that that Four far. Or five nodes. Yeah. Just gonna do a wander down here slowly, just to cover off the collection. Thank you to Ryan for showing us his private collection. Some interesting trees, Australian, mostly Australian natives, would you say? Yeah, there's only three that aren't. Three that aren't. Awesome, man. Just a just a really nice private collection and displayed. Well, I think displayed really, really well.